Hello, thanks for joining us again for another video guide. In this part of our basics tutorial video series, we will be looking at the ribbon functions and features within Vertex BD. We have designed the user interface within Vertex BD to incorporate a top ribbon menu, which if you have used the Microsoft suite of products, you will recognise. This redesigned layout enables the use of the software to be more intuitive and working within the software to be more productive. All icons within the ribbon can be hovered over to reveal further information on their functions. Any menu button can be right clicked and added to the quick access toolbar at the top. Any menu with a drop down arrow can also be pressed to access a menu of further related commands. Clicking the button menu will allow you to create a button menu with all commands in your work area for easier access when working on projects. We have a main menu at the top which also allows you to access the various different ribbon bars within the software. The modeling tab has all the various architectural modeling tools. Items such as walls, roofs and floors can all be configured here. Moving along from those, we have the component modeling functions which include things such as stairs and railings etc. Following on from those, we have our functions for profiles and connections, which is followed by our tools for framing. These tools deal with framing and also allow you to panelize, generate parts, etc. for walls, floors and trusses. You also have functions within here for adding a variety of accessories to these frames, such as bracing, etc. The drafting section allows you to add in things such as reference drawings and details such as part modeling. Tools at the far right contain options for things such as reflect objects and update profiles from library. The next tab contains the archive functions within Vertex BD, which enable you to import and batch export projects, which could be particularly useful for backing up multiple projects. Within here, under the maintenance options, you can also lock and unlock projects. The view tab, as by its name, is where all the view functions and tools are located. Within here, you can choose between a variety of viewing tools, including a variety of different default view and camera position options. There are also options here for the 3D view limiting, so you can control the depth of the model view, and also perspective options too. Finally, within this tab, we have a variety of zoom options, such as zoom extents, which fills the available working window, and to the right of these, we also have options for rearranging and closing working window and drawings. The Options tab is next in the menu, however this is a region specific tab, so it won't be covered in this tutorial. Next on the menu, we have our output options. Within here, you have a variety of options for exporting elements of the project or projects you are working on. This includes reports and material lists, GA and section drawings, different schedules and area calculations, and finally, NC outputs. After this, in the menu, we have our rendering section. Within this ribbon menu, you have control of the look of the 3D model. Here, you can manipulate the look of the materials used, adding things such as specific lighting and different backgrounds for when a project is rendered, etc. Please note, some of these functions are only available if you have the visualization option as part of your license. The engineering tab is another optional extra within the software. Within this section we have a variety of engineering functions enabling you to add a variety of load types and analyse these. You can also look at the results of any of these load tests and export them. The engineering tab is covered in another video in much more detail, so check that out if it's a function that you're interested in. Finally, the system menu. This allows you to have access to the various libraries for customization within Vertex BD. Things such as the wall and profile library are accessible and customizable from here, and you can also access and edit the material register here, for example, if you need to access and edit the costing reports. Contextual tabs will also activate depending on what element or command you have selected. For example, when I select a wall in the wall menu, we'll come up with a variety of different commands. Thank you for taking the time to join me today for this video guide showcasing our ribbon menu system. 
Stay tuned for our next video where we'll take a look at the help menu and the features that this includes.